Hi there, folks. This is Sean Bartok for the Oxford Club, and I'm here in Nevada again, and I'm this time at Paramount Gold's Sleeper Project, which uh, is uh, it's an open pit project, which was originally worked by one company. These guys, that company went out of business when the price of gold fell to the floor. These guys have taken it back on, and they're doing some more drilling, and uh, they really are trying to build the potential for a good company builder right here. And I'm speaking to Nancy Wolverson. She's the head of the project. And uh, she's just going to give us the rundown on uh, what the Sleeper Project is about. Nancy, could you just give us a little background? What happened here before before you guys took it over? Uh, originally, this project was discovered by a geologist with AMAX Gold, John Wood. He was off in the hills looking for Carlin systems like everyone else in Nevada back in the 80s. And he found some altered volcanic rocks out here in the valley kept following them out, started drilling, hole 34, hit the sleeper vein. Within a year, they were mining and paid off the mine. It's a, it was a high-grade epithermal deposit, and it lasted, they mined for 10 years. Paramount picked up the property in 2010 and has been exploring since then, building on everything that was done in the past. Okay. Now, um, they did mine out the high grade. So what you have left is low grade. But you guys have been doing lots of drilling around here, right? And some of the stuff has come in better than you had before. So now you guys are going to work on a new resource estimate. Isn't that right? Yes. We have been drilling out some of the um, deposits that were known, but they were low grade for AMAX. And these are the facility zone. The Westwood is a high-grade zone, which was known by AMAX, and they actually were looking at going underground to mine it at the time. Um, we have been working on those prior to Paramount arriving. Most of the work had been done in the facilities in Westwood, and they were basically focused on resources in those areas. Paramount has taken the entire property, drilled some holes, done metallurgy, and has turned done a resource on the entire property. The, we have some high grade. We have, well, we expect to find the vein at depth, not in the grades and widths that it was near the surface. And generally, we have all the low grade that was left when the project shut down at $300 gold. OK. Now, um, what is here now, it looks like a lake because basically they had a pit and it's filled in with water and stuff like that. So if they were bringing this project to mine, they would drain that out. In the meantime, they have some stuff that's over on the side that they can drill. But the nice thing about it is they've done a lot of drilling all around it. So it's actually going to be a much larger pit. They'll have to move some things that were put in place because, you know, miners, no sooner do they build something in one place, than they find out that there's ore beneath it. And that's exactly what's happened here. So um, there's a lot still to do. It's early stage. But uh, they seem to be on the trail of something they think could be much bigger. And so that's what Nancy and her team are actually doing the drilling to actually uh, find out more about that and just move that on down the road. Nancy, that's all I really wanted to get. Is there anything you'd like to add to my subscribers? No. Uh, sleeper's a great deposit, and hopefully we'll find another sleeper. <laughs> <laughs> yes, okay, great. So keep your eyes on this summer sleeper, and um, I'll be back with more information on this and other projects as well. This is Sean Broderick for Oxford Club. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Thank you for speaking to my subscribers, Nancy. Thank you. And thank you, folks.